I know there is also another conversation about even ulevi ambayo inaruhusiwa na hata imekuwa too much. Tunaona kwa barabara baadhi ko all the highways na wamezoea kuweka flat huko huko watu wanakaa juu kule juu. Sasa unapata mwanaume anakaa kwa pale with lifting from Friday to Sunday just with lifting with lifting. I mean we can't continue this. Therefore, this is a conversation with Excellency which must continue. This drunkenness, lazima to touch. Otherwise, um, my nephew wish well and may God bless you. Like in your Excellency, the rules will introduce uh, uh, Uyu, Uyu in DIG is a, a day old. And um, he has instructions to eat the ground running. Come, come, Bonakanja. Your Excellency, Tunakushukuru kwa kutupa uyu generali is a long-serving officer. Wealth of experience, and we know him as a person of integrity. Kwanza hiyo vita ya kupigara na pombe, public safety iko kwake. Hii ni siku yake ya is it Yapil? So can you can you a commitment? Your commitment. Personal commitment. Uh your excellency. Our deputy president, Uh all the governors present, members of parliament and national assembly, MCAs. The leadership of the National Police Service headed by the IG and all the officers present here uh, good afternoon uh, to start with uh, my name is Douglas Kanja Kirocho formerly the Commandant General Service Unit and right now the Deputy Inspector General in charge of the Kenya Police Service uh, first of all, is uh, to, appreciate, uh, to appreciate our president for finding uh, favor in me and appointing me the deputy inspector general. I'm happy about that. In charge of around uh, 75,000 officers, officers who are responsible in the profession of security within our republic to ensure that we have peace and security. We cannot have peace and security when half of the Republic is drunk. Our CS was categorical and clear. We have three major challenges. Number one, terrorism. Number two, budget, cattle rustling. And now number three is alcoholism and the drug abuse. The first two have been dealing with terrorism cattle rustling and budgets that have actually been my field of specialization. Remember, I was the operations commander in Ducid when the Republic was attacked. I went there, I worked for 19 hours together with others, and we were successful. We ensured that we liquidated the terrorists, and we were able to save 1,200 Kenyans and other nationalities who are are trapped in the in the Ducid uh, buildings. I've been deployed and burning down there when there were little troubles uh, of uh, in the I mean of uh, terrorism. Right now, Lamu area coastal region are quiet. Northeastern is quiet. We are operating in North Rift right now, dealing with budgets. And I want to assure you, uh, Your Excellency, that uh, it's just a matter of time. That area will be quiet like any other areas within this republic. Now, I'm going to deal now with the, the issues of drugs, alcoholism. And the, for your information, I happen to come from this county. I've been born here, brought up here, educated in this county. My people are here. My family, my friends, and everybody else is here. I am pained by what, what we are seeing here. My small shopping center, Half of them are drunks. So it's a big challenge, but we are equal to the task. I want to assure you 
uh, Your Excellency, that uh, we are going to walk this journey together, together with others and everybody, everybody of goodwill. At the end of the day, we are going to succeed because we have even succeeded where things were very thick. Even this one, I want to assure you that we are going to succeed. Our fellow officers, I count on you to support us so that you can be able to eradicate this menace. We will be having separate discussions so that you can be able to see how best we can be able to deal with these issues. As our IG has said, internally we have our own problems. We are going to address those problems so that we can be able to also move forward. I do those few remarks. Let me say thank you very much, sir.